my name is Rick Claudefelter. I'm Executive Director of Content Acquisitions and Partnerships at Disney Branded Television, based in New York, uh, but reporting into uh, Jane Gould in LA. We run a gamut for all the Disney um, platforms um, and, and the brands associated. So everything, uh, all content uh, from uh, kids two to two to five for Disney Junior, uh, to um, boys and girls ages six to eleven for Disney Channel and Disney XD brands. Um, but also, you know, we're we're also looking at family content and also even stretching up a little into the. Uh, tween space. So even stretching a little beyond our 11 year old, uh, you know, demo for these brands. So definitely, I believe our special sauce at Disney branded television is a touch of magic in all our content and magic defined at Disney does not mean fairy tales or princesses or uh, knights, um, you know, it, or, or sorcerers. It is uh, the magic of storytelling. It is um, storytelling that really um, brings about a genuine emotional response to the audience when they see it or when they engage with it. And you know, not every title that we have on our platforms has that has, has perceived magic, but it is the storytelling that's elevated. Um, you know, as an example, Bluey is not fantasy at all but boy those stories are just magic when you you know when you watch the show you feel um lighter you feel happier um and you are engaged in a way that you wouldn't normally feel in any other um any other other uh, way so it's 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 i think the magic piece is really hard to define at first when i got here but boy i i see it across all our all our titles so um magic and comedy and just that emotional response is really key for, for a lot of our storytelling. I really believe um, our big shows right now across m multiple platforms, uh, Bluey is, is really doing well for us. Again, it's that um, you know, sense of, of, of storytelling and familiarity and relatability of these characters across all the demos. Uh, so, you know, it is it is a preschool show but crosses many demos so which is very special for us so bluey does well um also from our own um ip we have um spidey and his amazing friends on the preschool front doing well for us also um our mickey mouse uh clubhouse and mickey mouse um fun house uh titles do well with our fab five um legacy characters um really great and then um in preschool, Dino Ranch is doing well for us as well, which is an acquisition um, out of Canada. So, um, you know, we're really, really blessed with some really strong preschool performers. Um, on Disney Channel and the older demographic, um, uh, comedy is is really key for us. Um, Big City Greens, our um, uh, TVA original um, out of Disney, uh, the, the, the TV animation group um, at Disney. And then um, a perennial favorite is Jesse. Uh, this is a multi-cam uh, comedy that has uh, been around for many seasons and it just continues to deliver for us. Um, also on the action adventure side, um, an another acquisition we have is Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir um, from, uh, from Zag, um, continues to do very well for us uh, on Disney Channel. Um, you know, it's that a strong female uh, lead and a heroine uh, in a high school setting, I mean, it doesn't get any more magical than that. So um, all, all big uh, performers for us across the board. We continue to um, feed, you know, what really works for us. And um, again, that is strong storytelling. It is a comedy, laugh out loud comedy, um, really critical for us, uh, either live action or, or animated would work. Um, and also, you know, we're really looking, we're kind of leaning into holiday programming right now in a big way. And not just for, you know, library pickups, it's more, um, you know, what can we make a perennial favorite uh, year after year um, in, in, in all genres uh, that is holiday themed. So I'm really leaning into um, uh, a lot of genres uh, in that holiday sector. Um, but, uh, you know, 
I, I wouldn't close the door on any opportunity, but I think, uh, you know, we have a real opportunity to, to, to try some things um, and also to see how titles would work with what our current successes as well. So how do we build off what's working now? And, you know, that could be a slight deviation or something that's missing uh, from our entire inventory. So, you know, we're pr it's pretty wide open for us. And, you know, we, we look at every content opportunity as what are the pluses for this? Why would this work for us versus what, why it wouldn't work for us? And if that makes sense and those internal conversations kind of um, build on themselves, you know, I think it's, it's, it's likely that we would have those advanced conversations. So I'm, I'm really excited about what's coming for the future. And, you know, with our new structure with Disney branded television, we feed uh, content for our brands. And so we're brand specific and platform agnostic. So it can really go on multiple platforms, but it has to fit our Disney channel brands, which is Disney channel, Disney XD and Disney uh, junior, of course. The best way to uh, pitch ideas for, for Disney branded television is to, um, you know, reach out to to uh, me or my co uh, my colleague Christina Jang, who is my manager, uh, our manager of acquisitions, um, and um, you know we are going to all the markets. Um, you know, uh, so it's it's very exciting for us to meet new people. We love seeing pitches that are fresh, and you know something. Um, you know, I love to be kind of in the early days of development just to see if it's something, a kernel of an idea that could work for us. But, you know, we're kind of open door. And um, if if you um, have an idea and you just want to run it by us, we'd love to, we'd love to have those conversations and we can kind of give you a, a steer from the very beginning. So, um, you know, we attend all the markets, our door is open. There are many ways to, to approach us. So please don't be, be shy, just uh, be prepared uh, you know, it could take a while for us to get back to you, um, but it is, uh, uh, hopefully it'll be worth the wait.